Hello everyone. Let's create an area.net application using dynamic link libraries and stored procedure. Let's create a new project. Let's give the name for the project database connectivity. Now before that, let's create a table. So in tools, let's connect to the database. Dot slash SQL Express and connect to the database, let's say master. This connection succeeded. Okay, you'll see in Server Explorer the master database is available now. Now let's create a table here. Add new table. Employee ID numeric. Let's take it as MR care. Let's get this as a primary key. Save this. The table name employ. Let's close it. Now for that we need to create a for insertion of a record using stored procedures. We need to create a stored procedure also. So let's create a stored procedure. Right click, add new stored procedure. Let's give the name for the procedure as insert employee let's give the parameter at the rate PID state type is numeric let's give size 10 at the rate PMP name and where care 50 and here we need to write the insert query so insert into values parameters okay, just save this so you'll see the procedure is saved now now next step is in the default.aspx page let's design a page for the employee details here we need to take the standard text box and the toolbox Let's change its id txt emp id now i need to add one more row so let's give the name employee name here and txt emp name just format it properly okay so step is we need to create the one more row where I need to take the submit button let's take a submit button so btn submit will be the its id and let's say give the name as a save so somewhere in line number 10 if not 
given the closing of TR. So format it properly now. So I did one seven button. Give the cost equals to two. Alignment is equals to center. Let's add one text box or let's say let's add one label control over here so that to display the message. Let's give it four four color is equals to red. So this is my form. Now we'll have to create one DLL file. Before that, let's create one new project here. Add new project. Now we need to add one class library. So for that we require Windows their class library. Let's add one employee DLL. This is the name of my DLL project. Uh, let's change its name change the class name to let's say employee class in that employee DLL I'll add one more class let's say my class name would be connection class Let's get this as public. Now I need to connect to the database, so we require some namespaces. So system dot data dot SQL client. Now I'll define some variables. SQL connection I'll define some objects, as I would say. Then I'll define one method. It will be common method for connection, establishing the connection. Now initialize that object. Now if you want to connection string, just right click here to the connection, select the property. You will see a connection string. I am just copy that connection string. And here you need to just give one more slash. So this is my connection class. Now in employee.cs file, I need to add the functionalities. So again, import the packages, or you can say the namespaces. Now I require a skill command object and I require connections class object like one functionality for insertion let's give the name for the function as insert employee and for that we require two parameters let's say ntmp id and let's give the a name as the second parameter and add one try catch block so that any runtime exception gets caught into it by the return statement let's say saved success fully here and add return ex dot message dot to string now I'll add the code 
now establishing a connection call the get connection method of connection class then initialize command object here I need to give the name of a procedure that was insert EMP and the connection object as a parameter then to recognize the statement is for stored procedure I need to add one statement called as cmd command type equals to command type dot stored procedure now next step is we need to add the parameters for the procedure so cmd dot parameters dot add just give the name of parameters of the procedure emp id and type its type was int dot value equals to what was parameter it was employee id now similarly i need to pass the second parameter that was employee name but its data type was in the database envire care EMPE equals parameter is employee name. Now, once this process, process has been done, we need to open the connection. So, we require obj.con.open. Next step is cmd.execute that query and obj.con.close the connection. This is done. Your method is ready. Insertion method is ready. Now come to the default.asvx page again. Before that, I need to build this DLL. Build this DLL. Next step is now to give the reference of that DLL into my application. So just give add reference. It's already there. Just click on OK reference added in your web application now just go, come to the design page of your default.aspx just double click on the save button here you need to just import your dll or you can say use that dll so employee dll i need to create the object of my employee class Now here, I am just calling that method insert with two parameters. The first parameter was integer. So I need to convert that text box value into an integer. So txt employee id dot text this is my first parameter and second parameter is txt employee name dot text. So this is how I am inserting the records into the database let's execute this page so let's insert an employee id 101 save it you see the record inserted if you want you can see the record in my employee table so it is inserted successfully thank you